up, guys? Mia here, and welcome to App Kicker. Get iPhone is disabled error on your iPhone and want to bypass it? You come to the right place. I will show you how to bypass disabled iPhone. This video goes for unlocking any iPhone that says iPhone is disabled. Try in one, five, fifteen, or sixteen minutes. All that is start on iPhone is disabled. Connect to iTunes screen. Please subscribe to Apkir's channel first and then keep watching to learn how to bypass iPhone is disabled on any iPhone. Your iPhone might get disabled when you forgot the lock screen passcode or you entered the wrong passcode too many times. If you finally manage to remember the passcode, wait until the limited time elapses and enter the passcode to bypass iPhone is disabled without restore and unlock the device. If you still forgot the passcode, or your iPhone is stuck on disable screen with connect to iTunes message, the only way to bypass iPhone is disable error and get it working again is to restore it back to its factory settings. I will use my iPhone 6s to show you how to fix the disable screen. After the restore, I will also tell you how to get back the data you have backup in iTunes or iCloud. First, I'm going to show you how to bypass iPhone disable screen using iTunes. Grab a USB cable and connect your iPhone to the computer. If iTunes or Finder can detect your device, you can go with the standard way to restore iPhone and bypass disable screen. If not, unplug the cable. Turn off your iPhone in the way you usually do that. For my iPhone 6s, I need to press the side button and move the slider to shut it down. Then, keep pressing the home button and reconnect the cable. If you are using iPhone 7, hold the volume down button. If you are using iPhone 8 or above, hold the side button. When you see the recovery mode screen, let go of the button. Your device will show up in iTunes or Finder. The following steps are the same in all iPhones. Click your iPhone and a window will appear. The update option can't unlock a disabled iPhone, so choose Restore. Then hit Restore and Update. Click Agree. iTunes or Finder will start downloading the firmware. Once finished, it will trigger the restore process. The progress bar displayed on your iPhone can indicate the rate of the disabled iPhone bypass process. Then your iPhone will restart and boot up into a Hello Welcome screen. Now you have bypassed the iPhone, its disabled error, and unlocked the device. Alright, next, I will introduce another iPhone Disable Bypass software to help you bypass iPhone passcode when disabled. That is iPhone Unlocker. You don't need to get iTunes installed or enter any passcode or password. Everything for unlocking your disabled iOS device has been over there, and all you need to do is to do some clicks. How you do that is very simple, and it's the same if you need to bypass iPhone is disabled, connect to iTunes screen. Go to appgeeker.com, find iPhone Unlocker, and download the tool on your PC or Mac. Once got the software installed, open the tool and click on Wipe Passcode Panel. Next, hit the Start button. When asked, connect your iPhone to the computer using a USB cable. And you should see the detailed device information of your iPhone. If the tool can't recognize your device, Put it into recovery mode first by following the on-screen instructions. When the program manages to detect your device, select the corresponding device type for your phone. Then, hit the Start button. Now, the software is downloading the firmware package, which can be used to unlock and get into your locked iPhone without entering the passcode. Once done, read warning carefully and enter 0000 in the field. Then, your final step is to press the unlock button. Now, your iPhone is unlocked and the disabled screen will be bypassed. Okay, that's it for these two methods to bypass the disabled screen when you forgot the passcode or enter the passcode run repeatedly. Now, I'm gonna guide you through the setup process quickly, during which you can restore the device from previous backup. Open your iPhone, choose the language and select your country. Here, tap Setup manually, connect to the Wi-Fi, tap Continue, tap Setup Later, don't use a passcode. 
When you are in apps and data screen, tap Restore from iCloud Backup or choose Restore from Mac or PC to get back the data you have backup. If you don't have a backup, tap Don't Transfer App and Data. Finish the following on screen steps and then you can get access to your device again. Okay, that concludes the video guide for bypassing disabled iPhone. Please give this video a thumbs up if you find it helpful and don't forget to let me know which method works for you in the comments below. If you want to learn more contents just like this, subscribe to Geeker's channel and turn on the bell to get the latest information.